Hi, I am Dr. Sham Shavarkar. So today I will show you how to solve this kind of problem. Okay, if you see this type of problem, then no need to worry. You can easily solve this type of problem. See how can we solve this? Uh, after just uh, seeing this uh, question, you might think what is PKA and what is polyphotic acid because here they have asked for pk1 for one polyphotic acid and is there any rule or is there any formula to determine this pk values yes there is some rule and there is some formula so this guy has made for you you no need to worry about it okay so what is pauling rule see he proposed that two empirical formula or rules to predict the strength of mononuclear oxo acids okay so here rule 1 is for an oxo acid of the type on x oh whole m pka will be equal to 9 minus 7 n okay so this is the rule 1 uh, now nowadays uh, one more rule is there because uh, this rule in many cases does not work so what is Next rule, latest rule. So latest rule is in many compounds or many acids, pKa equal to 8 minus 5n. So this formula fits better. So we will use 8 minus 5n. You can also use 9 minus 7n. There is no nothing wrong about it. But uh, latest version that is pKa equal to 8 minus 5n, we will use for further. Uh, application okay so what is second rule second rule says that for polyphotic acid that is m greater than one the successive pka values increases by five units okay so if pka value is x then pka one is x pka a2 will be x plus five in this way five will be successively added for uh, polyphotic acid so let us see uh, how we can call calculate pka values with this rule uh, so i'll show you with example so first example h3po4 so how to calculate you have to first represent this in the form of o n x o h whole m okay so there are three basic steps step one h3po4 can be represented as o1 p o h whole 3 okay now what is step two so determine n value see from this we can say that n equal to 1 and m equal to 3 so m value we uh, will not use that m value we will need n value but why m because you have to see whether it is equal to one monophotic acid more than one that is polyphotic acid so for that you need to show m values so here m equal to 3 that means greater than 1 that means it this acid is polyphotic acid so what is step 3 step is step 3 is the determination of pk1 so pk1 here 8 minus 5n if you put the value of n you will get pk1 equal to 3 so these are the three easiest and simplest steps to determine pk value using this pauling's rule okay so See, since this is polyphotic acid, so it will have two other pK values. So how to see rules two states that so it will be successively added by five units. So pK A two will be three plus five that is eight, and pK A three will be eight plus five that is thirteen. So in this way, you can calculate the pK value for polyphotic acid. Okay, we will see the next example. Here H3ASO3. Let us see if we formulate in the steps 1 as O0 ASOH whole 3. So here H3ASO3 can be represented as O0 ASOH whole 3. Okay, in the next step N. So N equal to 0 here and M equal to 3. This also polyphotic acid and N equal to 0 here. So what is the pKa1? pKa1 will be equal to 8. Okay. Now, if, if you add successively 5, then you will get pKa2 and pKa3. So, pKa2 will be 13 and pKa3 will be 18. So, this is also very simple. Let's see next example. HClO4. So, HClO4 can be represented as O3 ClOH whole 1. Okay. So, uh, where here n equal to C. 3 and m equal to 1 m equal to 1 means this is monophotic acid so it will have only one pk values so in the step 3 you will get pka1 equal to 
8 minus 5 into 3 that is minus 7 here pk value is minus okay minus 7 so this is the answer so in this way you can calculate for any polypotic acid the pk value very easily so Pauling's rule is very important and very easy also to determine the pk values now I have summarized here various examples here you can see seven examples I stated and step by step I have shown how to calculate pk1 pk2 pk3 okay I think this will be very helpful for you you can uh, save this uh, for future use. if you like this video you can uh, put like button and you can share among your friends okay thank you so much for watching this video who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe because more interesting videos more interesting topic question answer discussions are coming very shortly